What's up? This is Maddie from Rev Theory, and you're at copyofthehierarchy.com. What was the approach taken to create the album? The approach taken, uh, well, I think we kind of had a lot of pent-up aggression and some anger going on, and uh, we just kind of wanted to vent that, and a lot of the songwriting took that approach, you know. Um, we were kind of venting some of the feelings we had. But, I mean, still at the same time, you know, the, there's a lot of emotions um, aside from anger that, you know, we kind of conveyed, and... Um, it, it's kind of going back to our first record and our early days of writing where we just wanted to keep it raw and real and, and honest to our emotions. And the last record was a little bit of a departure from that. We went for a little different vibe and uh, we kind of came back to that record. And the same with, with the recording process. We wanted to keep it pretty raw. That's part of the reason we went with Terry Deed as a producer. Um, we thought he'd give us that um, raw feel and keep it kind of stripped down recording-wise and not get too crazy with the technical, you know, tricks using Pro Tools and kind of kept it simple, an old-school approach to recording and uh, tried to make it feel as honest as possible. And one of the other things we wanted to do was capture sort of our live feel. Uh, for, you know, the, the vibe we have for our live show kind of capture that on the recording. And I think we came pretty close to that. And, you know, a lot of people that hear it recently kind of say that, it, you know, it's the best we've done at capturing our live performance on a, on a recording. When I say the following song titles, what's the first thing that comes to mind? First of all, fire. Uh, messed up emotions, a messed up relationship kind of twisted relationship. What about Wicked Wonderland? <laughs> excess, partying, excess. Um, you know, kind of the way uh, people in our society take things to the limit, maybe a little too excessive with their use of certain things. What would you say are the key challenges that you face during the creative process? Um... Uh, well, one, one thing we like to challenge ourselves with is just trying to make every song in the record amazing and single potential. You know, we don't want to have a record with any filler on it. We don't want songs that, you know, are kind of filler songs. Um, so that's something we try to strive for on every record. And uh, it's hard because, you know, you'll have a lot of songs that are really good, but Especially on this record, we had a lot of songs that were really good that we wrote that we didn't feel like fit in the record, like the grand scheme of the record. And we, we saw it kind of being this overall package where it, everything was really cohesive. And there were certain songs that people were pushing us to put on the record that as a band we thought weren't right. We knew it were us. And we had, this, we had this direction in mind of how we wanted the record to go. And, uh, you know, people the label heard songs, and they're really catchy and great songs, but we just knew they didn't fit, and we had to really fight to make sure that we, we kept the cohesiveness of the records and got the songs we wanted to be on there. Um, and as a songwriter, you know, you're fighting, for, you're fighting for the material you like and that you created and came from your heart. So, you know... You kind of have a vision for things, and maybe people don't share it, and that, that, I think that's where the hardest part of, of completing this record came. What's the biggest thing that you learned about yourself during the creation of the album? Uh, I learned that I could land the song with me singing on it on the record. <laughs> uh, uh, something I learned about myself, I think I learned that I can be more confident as a songwriter. Um, I really, I, I feel like as a songwriter, I came, I came a little bit to the forefront and uh, had a lot more say in, in the songwriting process, and it kind of gave me a lot more confidence going forward as a songwriter, not only in the band, but outside of the band. Um, so I kind of took a step forward with that, and it, it feels real gratifying to, to really come to the forefront on this record with, with my writing abilities. So I was stoked about that, and like I said, I got, I got to sing lead on a, on the final track of the CD, Hollow Man. And uh, I was pretty happy about that, too, because it's something we've talked about for a while, and uh, we actually went through with it this time, so I'm stoked about that. Are there any songs on the album that surprised you by taking a different direction than you initially envisioned? Um, hmm, 
Well, actually, Guilty uh, by Design was one of the songs that originally, um, when we when we started writing the song, it had a little bit of a different direction. It was a little more of like a mid-tempo, um, almost more metal-sounding song. And we thought that it, it was really good and we liked it, but we thought that it might have sounded a little too in the generic vein. And we, we thought it was too good. We thought the chorus was too good to lose the song. So we went back to the drawing board and we took a chance and did this like super up tempo riff um, with kind of like a like a almost like a single note verse where it kind of stays in that same register the whole time. And then I come in in the pre-chorus singing this really like interesting kind of eerie, scary sounding uh, melody. And I think that was one of the biggest things we stuck our no neck out with and took a chance in kind of rearranging and, and stuck to our guns with how we felt about it. And uh, I think it, it, it was kind of a kind of a roller coaster type of song and, and it takes you on like a journey and I think that's one of the most um, interesting and creative songs on the record. We took some songs, we took, took some chances with songs that didn't actually make the record. Um, one's going to be on a uh, Best Buy exclusive, so you can actually hear one of those songs. It's called Swell. It's going to be released to Best Buy exclusively. But on the record as is now, I'd say uh, Guilty by Design. Can you talk a bit about some of the highs and the lows that you went through over recording? Um, yeah, I mean, when you go into the studio, um, it's always very exciting and it's all new. And, um, you know, th things are great and, and things are, you know, you, you have a lot of energy going in. And then um, I think we were really excited and things sounded great and we knew all the songs were solid and we, we were more prepared to make this record um, and more confident, I think, going into the recording than we've ever been before. But about, I don't know, two or three weeks in, we realized that things were taking a little longer. And, um, you know, we started getting nervous about, our timelines and whether we could get it, get it all in a time because, you know, we're on a budget and, and uh, we, we foresaw that we were going to probably go over the budget and, you know, then tensions got a little high. You know, people were like, you got to step it up. But, you know, obviously as uh, artists, we wanted to take our time and, and really experiment with things. And I think getting into the back half, we kind of got nervous about you know, taking too much time doing things and that but some things get tense and people start getting angry about certain parts and, you know, you don't you don't wanna overlook anything in the recording process but, you know, you're you're under the gun and uh it becomes hard and that's when that's when the words start flying and, you know, people kinda get in each other's other's throat. But at the end of the day we got it all done and the record as a whole is amazing and we're very happy with it. So um yeah, it, it, was, it was a lot of ups and downs, but we got it done. Creating music is like organizing an accident. What do you think of that statement? Yeah. Um, I think... Hmm, that's an interesting comment. Organizing an accident. Yeah, well, it's interesting because uh, a lot of the best material comes out um, the fastest. And I guess that's how you could kind of look at that. It's an accident in the fact that, you know, you just kind of go out there and throw something out, and next thing you know, it's uh, one of the best songs in your record. Um, I think The Fire was one of those songs where it was kind of an accident. We went and did, we sat down to do this writing session, and, and uh, it just flew out, and it was kind of, it just came out in a matter of, like, probably two hours, I'd say. And next thing you know, we had this demo of this song that we were like, oh, my God, this song's incredible. And um, and then and then we kind of had to take a step back and be like, okay, you know, like, it's great, but, like, what can we do to make this song better? And, you know, we added certain parts. So that, that was the organization of that song where, um, you know, when we conceived it, it was it was a, sort of a moment of brilliance, we thought, and uh, we had to take a step back and bring it all together. And um, Yeah, sometimes the, the words and the, the ideas just spill out, and you never know when that, that uh, 
operation was going to strike you, but luckily uh, did a, a few times.